Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. If you really want to add some excitement to your presentation, try adding some animations. PowerPoint has a wide variety of animation effects that you can apply to text and objects. I'm creating a Trivia Night slideshow. I want to add animations to this shape and to the answer itself. Start by clicking on an object, and then go to the Animations tab. Click the drop-down arrow to view the different types of effects that are available. There are four different categories. Entrance, which will happen when the object first appears on the slide. Emphasis, which will happen while the object is on the slide. Exit, which causes the object to disappear. And motion paths, which move the object along a path. I'm going to choose Fly In, which is an entrance effect. For some effects, you will have effect options. For example, this one lets you choose a direction. Let's say I want to add a second effect to this shape. If I go to this menu and select one, it's going to replace the entrance effect. Instead, I'll go to Add Animation to add more than one. It's easy to keep track of which objects have animations because they will have numbers next to them, one for each effect. And the slide will also have this little star picture. If you want to preview the effects, you can just click the Preview command. I like the effects on the banner, and when the answer is revealed, I want the text to fly in the same way. So I'm going to apply the same effects here. Instead of adding them one by one, I can just use the Animation Painter to copy them. Click on the object that has the effects. Then click Animation Painter. The cursor will have this little paintbrush on it. And when you click on the other object, it will now have the same effects. Now that I've chosen effects for both of these objects, I'm going to move this so that the text flies onto the banner. We have several effects on this slide. So now would be a good time to open the animation pane to help us manage them. It appears on the right, and it lets you do a couple of things. You can click and drag the effects to reorder them, and you can also click these drop-down arrows to see more options for each effect. By default, each effect starts when you click the mouse, but I don't want to have to click the mouse for every single one. Instead, we can have the effect start automatically at the same time as the previous effect, or after the previous effect ends, and that's what I want. So I'm going to do the same thing for the text box entrance effect. This just makes the animations flow more smoothly since they're being triggered automatically. If you click on the drop down arrow again and go to effect options, you'll have a dialog box where you can fine tune the animation. These options will vary depending on which effect it is. And you can also adjust the timing. I'm going to add a few seconds of delay to give people a little more time to think of the answer before it appears. For this animation, we also have the option of the text flying in all at once, one word at a time, or one letter at a time. I want to add a little bit of flair here, so I'm going to have the letters fly in one at a time. Now I'm going to play the slideshow so I can view the finished product. I'll just click the mouse to trigger the first effect. This presentation also includes some other animations I added earlier, like this ticking clock to show the audience how much time they have left to think of the answer. After a few seconds, it will trigger the next effect. And then the next one. And the text will stay on the screen until I click the mouse again. Adding a few animations can turn a simple slideshow into a presentation that's engaging and fun for your audience to watch.